Indian is an American brand of motorcycles originally produced from 1901 to 1953 in Springfield, Massachusetts, United States. Hendy Manufacturing Company initially produced the motorcycles, but the name was changed to the Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company in 1928. The Indian factory team took the first three places in the 1911 Isle of Man Tourist Trophy. During the 1910s, Indian became the largest manufacturer of motorcycles in the world. Indian's most popular models were the Scout, made from 1920 to 1946, and the Chief, made from 1922 until 1953, when the Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Company went bankrupt. Various organizations tried to perpetuate the Indian brand name in subsequent years, with limited success. In 2011, Polaris Industries purchased Indian motorcycles and moved operations from North Carolina and merged them into their existing facilities in Minnesota and Iowa. Since August 2013, Polaris has marketed multiple modern Indian motorcycles that reflect Indian's traditional styling. History Topic: Early Years, Hendy and Headstrom. The Indian Motorcycle Co. was founded as the Hendy Manufacturing Company by George M. Hendy in 1897 to manufacture bicycles. These were initially badged as Silver King and Silver Queen brands, but the name American Indian quickly shortened to just Indian was adopted by Hendy from 1898 onwards because it gave better product recognition in export markets. Oscar Hedstrom joined in 1900. Both Hendy and Hedstrom were former bicycle racers and manufacturers, and after building three prototypes in Middletown, Connecticut they teamed up to produce a motorcycle with a 1.75 bhp, single-cylinder engine in Hendy's hometown of Springfield. The motorcycle was successful and sales increased dramatically during the next decade. In 1901, a prototype and two production units of the diamond framed Indian single were successfully designed, built, and tested. The first Indian motorcycles, having chain drives and streamlined styling, were sold to the public in 1902. In 1903, Indian's co-founder and chief engineer Oscar Hedstrom set the world motorcycle speed record of 56 miles per hour. In 1904 the company introduced the deep red color that would become Indian's trademark. Annual production of Indian motorcycles then exceeded 500, rising to a peak of 32,000 in 1913. The engines of the Indian single were built by the Aurora firm in Illinois under license from the Hendy MFG Co. until 1906. Aurora produced engines under license for Indian from about 1901 to 1907. Aurora was also allowed to sell Indian design engines to third parties and pay Indian a fee. After 1907, Aurora could make its own complete motorcycles, which it did as Thor, and Indian began manufacturing its own engines. Topic: <laughs> Competitive successes. In 1905, Indian built its first V-twin factory racer, and in following years made a strong showing in racing and record breaking. In 1907, the company introduced the first street version V-Twin and a Roadster styled after the factory racer. The Roadster can be distinguished from the racers by the presence of twist-grip linkages. One of the firm's most famous riders was Erwin Cannonball Baker, who set many long-distance records. In 1914, he rode an Indian across America, from San Diego to New York, in a record 11 days, 12 hours and 10 minutes. Baker's mount in subsequent years was the PowerPlus, a side valve V-twin, which was introduced in 1916. Its 61C 1000cc, 42-degree V-twin engine was more powerful and quieter than previous designs, giving a top speed of 60 miles per hour 96 kilometers per hour. The PowerPlus was highly successful, both as a roadster and as the basis for racing bikes. 
It remained in production with few changes until 1924. Competition success played a big part in Indian's rapid growth and spurred technical innovation as well. One of the American firm's best early results came in the Isle of Man TT in 1911, when Indian riders Oliver Cyril Godfrey, Franklin and Morehouse finished first, second and third. Indian star Jake DeRosier set several speed records, both in America and at Brooklands in Britain, and won an estimated 900 races on dirt and board tracks. He left Indian for Excelsior and died in 1913, aged 33, of injuries sustained in a board track race crash with Charles Fearless Balk, who later became Indian's top rider. Work at the Indian factory was stopped while DeRosier's funeral procession passed by. Oscar Hedstrom left Indian in 1913 after disagreements with the board of directors regarding dubious practices to inflate the company's stock value. George Hendy resigned in 1916. Topic: <laughs> Lightweights 1916 to 1919. Indian introduced the 221cc single-cylinder two-stroke Model K, featherweight, in 1916. The Model K had an open cradle frame with the engine as a stressed member and a pivoting front fork that had been used earlier on single-cylinder motorcycles but had mostly been replaced on other Indian motorcycles by a leaf-sprung trailing link fork. The Model K was manufactured for one year and was replaced in 1917 by the Model O. The Model O had a four-stroke flat twin engine and a new frame, but retained the pivoting fork at the front. The Model O was manufactured until 1919. Topic. World War I As the U.S. entered World War I, Indian sold most of its Powerplus line in 1917 and 1918 to the United States government, starving its network of dealers. This blow to domestic availability of the motorcycles led to a loss of dealers from which Indian never quite recovered. While the motorcycles were popular in the military, post-war demand was then taken up by other manufacturers to whom many of the previously loyal Indian dealers turned. While Indian shared in the business boom of the 1920s, it had lost its number one position in the U.S. market to Harley-Davidson. <laughs> Interwar era The Scout and Chief V Twins, introduced in the early 1920s, became the Springfield firm's most successful models. Designed by Charles Franklin, the middleweight Scout and larger Chief shared a 42-degree V twin engine layout. Both models gained a reputation for strength and reliability. In 1930, Indian merged with DuPont Motors. DuPont Motors founder E. Paul DuPont ceased production of DuPont automobiles and concentrated the company's resources on Indian. DuPont's paint industry connections resulted in no fewer than 24 color options in 1934. Models of that era had Indian's famous war bonnet logo on the gas tank. Indian's huge Springfield factory was known as the Wigwam, and Native American imagery was much used in advertising. In 1940, Indian sold nearly as many motorcycles as its major rival, Harley-Davidson. During this time, Indian also manufactured other products such as aircraft engines, bicycles, boat motors and air conditioners. Topic. Scout The Indian Scout was built from 1920 through 1949. It rivaled the Chief as Indian's most important model. The Scout was introduced for 1920. Designed by Charles B. Franklin, the Scout had its gearbox bolted to the engine and was driven by gears instead of by belt or chain. The engine originally displaced 37 cu in 610 cc, the Scout 45, with a displacement of 45 cu in 740 cc, became available in 1927 to compete with the Excelsior Super XA front brake became standard on the original Scout early in 1928, later in 1928, the Scout and Scout 45 were replaced by the Model 101 Scout. 
Another Franklin design, the 101 Scout had a longer wheelbase and lower seat height than the original. The 101 Scout was well known for its handling, the 101 Scout was replaced by the Standard Scout for 1932. The Standard Scout shared its frame with the Chief and the Four, as a result, the Standard Scout was heavier and less nimble than the 101, a second line of Scouts was introduced for 1933. Based on the frame of the discontinued Indian Prince single-cylinder motorcycle, the motorplane used the 45 cubic inch engine from the standard Scout while the Pony Scout had a reduced displacement of 30.5 cu in 500 cc. In 1934 the motorplane was replaced by the Sport Scout with a heavier but stiffer frame better able to withstand the power of the 45 cubic inch engine, while the Pony Scout, later renamed the Junior Scout, was continued with the Prince – motorplane frame. Between the introduction of the Sport Scout in 1934 and the discontinuation of the Standard Scout in 1937 there were three Scout models – Pony, Junior, Standard, and Sport – with three different frames. The Sport Scout and the Junior Scout were continued until civilian production was interrupted in early 1942. <laughs> Chief Introduced in 1922, the Indian Chief had a 1000 cc engine based on the PowerPlus engine, a year later the engine was enlarged to 1200 cc cubic inches. Numerous improvements were made to the Chief over the years, including the provision of a front brake in 1928. In 1940, all models were fitted with the large skirted fenders that became an Indian trademark, and the Chief gained a new sprung frame that was superior to rival Harley's unsprung rear end. The 1940s Chiefs were handsome and comfortable machines, capable of 85 miles per hour (137 kilometers per hour) in standard form and over 100 miles per hour (160 kilometers per hour) when tuned, although their increased weight hampered acceleration. The 1948 Chief had a 74 cubic inch engine, hand shift and foot clutch. While one handlebar grip controlled the throttle the other was a manual spark advance. In 1950, the V-twin engine was enlarged to 1,300 cc 79 cubic inches and telescopic forks were adopted. But Indians' financial problems meant that few bikes were built. Production of the Chief ended in 1953. Topic 4 Indian purchased the Ace Motor Corporation in 1927 and moved production of the four-cylinder Ace motorcycle to Springfield. It was marketed as the Indian Ace in 1927. In 1928, the Indian Ace was replaced by the Indian 401, a development of the Ace designed by Arthur O. Lemon, former chief engineer at Ace, who was employed by Indian when they bought Ace. The Ace's leading link forks and central coil spring were replaced by Indian's trailing link forks and quarter elliptic leaf spring. In 1929, the Indian 401 was replaced by the Indian 402, which received a stronger twin downtube frame based on the 101 Scout frame and a sturdier five bearing crankshaft than the Ace, which only had a three bearing crankshaft. Despite the low demand for luxury motorcycles during the Great Depression, Indian not only continued production of the four, but continued to develop the motorcycle. One of the less popular versions of the four was the upside down engine on the 1936 37 models. While earlier and later fours had inlet over exhaust IOE cylinder heads with overhead inlet valves and side exhaust valves, the 1936-1937 Indian 4 had a unique EOI cylinder head, with the positions reversed. In theory, this would improve fuel vaporization, and the new engine was more powerful. However, the new system made the cylinder head, and the rider's inseam, very hot. This, along with an exhaust valve train that required frequent adjustment, caused sales to drop. The addition of dual carburetors in 1937 did not revive interest. The design was returned to the original configuration in 1938. Like the Chief, the four was given large, skirted fenders and plunger rear suspension in 1940. 
In 1941, the 18-inch wheels of previous models were replaced with 16-inch wheels with balloon tires. The Indian 4 was discontinued in 1942. Recognition of the historical significance of the 1944 cylinder model was made with an August 2006 United States Postal Service 39-cent stamp issue, part of a four-panel set entitled American Motorcycles. A 1941 model is part of the Smithsonian Motorcycle Collection on display at the National Museum of American History. Single examples of both the 1931 and 1935 Indian Fours are in the ground vehicle collection of the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome. <laughs> World War II During World War II, chiefs, scouts, and junior scouts were used in small numbers for various purposes by the United States Army and were also used extensively by British and other Commonwealth military services, under Lend-Lease programs. However, none of these Indian models could unseat the Harley-Davidson WLA as the motorcycle mainly used by the U.S. military. An early war military design by Indian was based on the 750 cc 46 cu in Scout 640 and was often compared to Harley-Davidson's WLA, but was either too expensive or heavy, or a combination of both. Indian's later offering, the 500 cc 31 cu in 741 b was not selected to gain a U.S. military contract. Indian also made a version based on the 1200 cc 73 cu in chief the 344 Approximately 1,000 experimental versions mounting the 750cc motor sideways and using shaft drive as on a modern Moto Guzzi the 841 were also tried Topic 841 During World War II, the U.S. Army requested experimental motorcycle designs suitable for desert fighting. In response to this request, Indian designed and built the 841. Approximately 1,056 models were built. The Indian 841 was heavily inspired by the BMW R71 motorcycle which, though not used by the German army later was the basis for the Soviet M72, which is the basis for the Ural and Changjiang motorcycle as was its competitor, the Harley-Davidson XA. However, unlike the XA, the 841 was not a copy of the R71. Although its tubular frame, plunger rear suspension, and shaft drive were similar to the BMWs, the 841 was different from the BMW in several aspects, most noticeably so with its 90-degree longitudinal crankshaft V-twin engine and girder fork. The Indian 841 and the Harley-Davidson XA were both tested by the Army, but neither motorcycle was adopted for wider military use. It was determined that the Jeep was more suitable for the roles and missions for which these motorcycles had been intended. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Post-war decline and demise. In 1945, a group headed by Ralph B. Rogers purchased a controlling interest of the company. On November 1, 1945, DuPont formally turned the operations of Indian over to Rogers. Under Rogers' control, Indian discontinued the Scout and began to manufacture lightweight motorcycles such as the 149 Arrow, the Super Scout 249, both introduced in 1949, and the 250 Warrior, introduced in 1950. In 1947, the Indian Head Fender Light, also known as the War Bonnet was introduced. The War Bonnet backlit lamp was found only on the front fender of an authentic Indian motorcycle. Chrome components made their debut. Production of traditional Indians was extremely limited in 1949, and no 1949 chiefs are known to exist. All product manufacturing ended in 1953. Corporate successes Topic: <inaudible> Rebadged imported Royal Enfields 
Brockhaus Engineering acquired the rights to the Indian name after Indian went under in 1953. Clarification needed, Brockhaus bought into the Indian Sales Corp in 1948. The Indian Sales Corp imported and sold CZ, Vincent, AJS, Matchless, Norton from various dates after this source needed. From 1955 through 1960, they imported English Royal Enfield motorcycles, mildly customized them in the United States, source needed, they may have been factory done, almost certainly, and sold them as Indians. Almost all Royal Enfield models had a corresponding Indian model in the U.S. The models were Indian Chief, Trailblazer, Apache, all three were 700 cc twins, Tomahawk, 500 cc twin, Woodsman, 500 cc single, Westerner, 500 cc single, Hound's Arrow, 250 cc single, Fire Arrow, 250 cc single, Lance, 150 cc two stroke single, and a three wheeled patrol car, 350 cc single. In 1960, the Indian name was bought by. AMC of the UK. Royal Enfield being their competition, they abruptly stopped all Enfield-based Indian models except the 700cc Chief. Their plan was to sell matchless and AJS motorcycles badged as Indians. However, the venture ended when AMC itself went into liquidation in 1962. Clarification needed, AMC went bust circa 1966. Topic. Floyd Clymer Imports, 1963–1977 From the 1960s, entrepreneur Floyd Clymer began using the Indian name, apparently without purchasing it from the last known legitimate trademark holder. He attached it to imported motorcycles, commissioned to Italian ex-pilot and engineer Leopoldo Tartarini, owner of Italjet Moto, to manufacture Minrelli-engined 50cc minibikes under the Indian papoose name. These were successful so Clymer commissioned Tartarini to build full-size Indian motorcycles based on the Italjet Griffin design, fitted with Royal Enfield Interceptor 750cc parallel twin engines. A further development was the Indian Velo 500, a limited production run using a Veloset single-cylinder engine and gearbox with mainly Italian cycle parts, including a lightweight frame from the Italjet company, Marzocchi front forks with Grimeca front hub having a twin leading shoe brake, Borani aluminium rims and quickly detachable tank and seat, resulting in a weight saving of 45 pounds 20 kilograms compared to the traditional Veloset Venom. The project ended abruptly due to climbers death and the failure of Veloset, with 200 machines shipped to US and a further 50 remaining in Italy, which were bought by London Veloset dealer Jeff Dodkin. When road testing, UK monthly magazine Motorcycle Sport described it as, "...British engineering and Italian styling in a package originally intended for the American market." Reporting that Dodkin would supply his bikes with either a standard Venom engine specification, or, at higher cost, a Thruxton version. After Clymer's death in 1970, his widow sold the alleged Indian trademark to Los Angeles attorney Alan Newman, who continued to import minicycles made by Italjet, and later manufactured in a wholly owned assembly plant located in Taipei, Taiwan. Several models with engine displacement between 50cc and 175cc were produced, mostly fitted with Italian two-stroke engines made either by Italjet or Franco Marini. In 1974, Newman planned to revive large-capacity machines as the Indian 900, using a Ducati 860cc engine and commissioned Leo Tartarini of Italjet to produce a prototype. The project failed, leaving the prototype as the only survivor. Sales of Newman's Indians were dwindling by 1975. The company was declared bankrupt in January 1977. Topic: <laughs> Other attempts, 1977 to 1999. The right to the brand name passed through a succession of owners and became a subject of competing claims in the 1980s. 
By 1992, the climber claim to the trademark had been transferred to Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Co., Inc. of Berlin, a corporation headed by Philip S. Zangi. In June 1994, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Wayne Borman, president of Indian Motorcycle Manufacturing Inc., presented, started, and rode a prototype Indian Century V Twin Chief. Borman had made previous statements about building new motorcycles under the Indian brand but this was his first appearance with a working motorcycle, neither Zangi nor Borman began production of motorcycles. In August 1997, Zangi was convicted of securities fraud, tax evasion, and money laundering. In January 1998, Ella Industries was given permission to purchase the Indian copyright from the receivers of the previous owner. Ella Industries hired Roush Industries to design the engine for the motorcycle, and was negotiating with the Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians to build a motorcycle factory on their tribal land. Three renderings, one each of a cruiser, a sport cruiser, and a sport bike, on frames specified by suspension designer James Parker, were shown to the motorcycling press in February 1998. Ella Industries arranged a public unveiling of the cruiser prototype for November 1998, but was prevented from showing the prototype by a restraining order from the receiver, who said that Ella had failed to meet the terms of its obligations. The contract was withdrawn after the company missed its deadline to close the deal and could not agree with the receiver to an extension on the deadline. Other conditions, including payment of administrative costs and presenting a working prototype, were also not met by Ella Industries. Based on this, a federal bankruptcy court in Denver, Colorado, allowed the sale of the trademark to IMCOA Licensing America Inc. in December 1998. Topic Indian Motorcycle Company of America 1999 to 2003 The Indian Motorcycle Company of America was formed from the merger of nine companies including Manufacturer California Motorcycle Company CMC and IMCOA Licensing America Inc which was awarded the Indian trademark by the Federal District Court of Colorado in 1998 the new company began manufacturing motorcycles in 1999 at the former CMC's facilities in Gilroy, California. The first Gilroy Indian model was a new design called the Chief. Scout and Spirit models were also manufactured from 2001. These bikes were initially made with off-the-shelf 88 cubic inch S and S engines, but later used the 100 cubic inch 1,600 cc Power Plus bottle cap engine design from 2002 to 2003. The Indian Motorcycle Corporation went into bankruptcy and ceased all production operations in Gilroy on September 19, 2003. Topic. Indian Motorcycle Company 2006 to 2011 On July 20, 2006, the newly formed Indian Motorcycle Company, owned largely by Stellican Limited, a London-based private equity firm, announced its new home in Kings Mountain, North Carolina, where it has restarted the Indian motorcycle brand, manufacturing Indian chief motorcycles in limited numbers, with a focus on exclusivity rather than performance. Starting out where the defunct Gilroy IMC operation left off in 2003, the King's Mountain models were continuation models based on the new series of motorcycles developed in 1999. The 2009 Indian Chief incorporated a redesigned 105 cubic inch 1720 cc PowerPlus V twin powertrain with electronic closed loop sequential port fuel injection, and a charging system providing increased capacity for the electronic fuel injection. Topic. Polaris acquisition since 2011. In April 2011, Polaris Industries, the off-road and leisure vehicle maker and parent company of Victory Motorcycles, announced its intention to acquire Indian Motorcycle. Indian's production facilities were moved to Spirit Lake, Iowa, where production began on August 5, 2011. In March 2013, Indian unveiled their new 111 cubic inches 1.82L Thunderstroke 
engine and began to sell their newly designed motorcycles based on it in August 2013. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current production. On August 3, 2013, Polaris announced three all-new Indian branded motorcycles based on the traditional styling of the Indian mark, along with the Thunder Stroke 111 V twin engine. The motor has a triple cam design with a chain-driven center cam turning front and rear cams via gears, permitting parallel placement of the pushrods to give a similar appearance to older Indian designs. It is air-cooled, with large traditional fins and an airbox in the cast aluminum frame. All Indians using the Thunder Stroke 111 engine share this aluminum frame design, though the wheelbase and front end rake vary depending on model. The integrated transmission is also gear driven. Since 2013, Indian has expanded its lineup to 10 models. Of these, seven models had Thunderstroke 111 engines, while two models used the smaller engine displacement, liquid cooled Scout engine. The Scout has a 69.14 cu in 1133.0 cc engine, while the Scout 60 has its eponymous 61 cu in 1000 cc engine. Topic: <laughs> Chief Classic 2014 The standard Chief Classic has the balanced fenders and the lighted war bonnet. On the front fender, cruise control, anti-lock braking system, keyless starting, and electronic fuel injection are standard on this and all other models. It has a six-speed transmission and manually adjustable single shock swing arm. Topic: <laughs> Chief Vintage 2014. The Indian Chief Vintage shares the chassis, drivetrain, and styling of the Chief Classic, and adds tan leather quick-release saddlebags, matching tan leather 2-up seat, additional chrome trim, quick-release windshield, and a 6-speed transmission. Topic: <laughs> Springfield 2016 The Springfield was introduced in March 2016 during Daytona Bike Week. It is named after the birthplace of Indian motorcycles, Springfield, Massachusetts. The Springfield is a bit of a hybrid bike, sharing steering geometry and hardbags with the Chieftain and Roadmaster models but is equipped with a quick detach windshield like the Vintage. It also boasts an adjustable rear air shock like the other touring models. Topic Chieftain 2014 The Indian Chieftain Touring Motorcycle is the first Indian model with front fairing and hard saddlebags. It has a stereo with speakers in the fairing, Bluetooth media players, tire pressure sensors, air adjustable rear shock, and motorized windshield adjustment. Initial reports from the press were favorable for styling, performance, and handling. The Chieftain was named 2013 Motorcycle of the Year by Roadrunner Motorcycle Touring and Travel Magazine. Topic: <laughs> Scout 2015. The Indian Scout was introduced at the 2014 Sturgis Motorcycle Rally as a 2015 model. The 2015 Scout is a cruiser with a 1133cc liquid-cooled, double overhead camshaft V-twin engine and a frame formed by multiple aluminum alloy castings bolted to each other and to the engine. The Indian Scout was named 2015 Motorcycle of the Year by Motorcycle.com. Scout 60 2016 The Indian Scout 60 was introduced in November 2015 as a 2016 model. The Scout 60 is a cruiser with a 999cc in liquid cooled double overhead camshaft V twin engine. The new Scout 60 has many of the same features as the 2014 Scout, but with a smaller 999cc engine. Topic: 
Topic: Roadmaster 2015. The Indian Roadmaster was introduced at the 2014 Sturgis Motorcycle Rally shortly before the Scout. The Roadmaster is a chieftain with an added trunk, front fairing lowers, heated seats, heated grips, LED headlights, passenger floorboards, and a rear crash bar. The Roadmaster had been developed before the Chieftain. Cycle World recorded 72.4 horsepower, 54.0 kilowatts at 4440 revolutions per minute and 102.7 pounds feet, 139.2 Nm at 2480 revolutions per minute at the rear tire. They also recorded a tested one quarter mile time of 13.91 seconds at 94.44 miles per hour, 151.99 kilometers per hour, and a 0 to 60 miles per hour, 0 to 97 kilometers per hour acceleration at 5.2 seconds, a 60 to 0 miles per hour, 97 to 0 kilometers per hour braking distance of 125 feet, 38 meters, and fuel economy of 35.9. MPG US 6.55 L 100 kilometers 43.1 MPG imp Topic <laughs> Chief Dark Horse 2016 The 2016 Indian Dark Horse was introduced on Valentine's Day 2015 it is based on a Chief Classic painted in flat black, with the driving lights, oil cooler, analog fuel gauge, passenger pillion seat and passenger pegs removed. Topic. Chieftain Dark Horse 2016. The 2016 Indian Chieftain Dark Horse was introduced on May 2016. It has a full fairing and hard saddlebags, but lacks other accessories in the Chieftain line. It has a claimed 119.2 pounds feet, 161.6 Nm at 3000 revolutions per minute and a dry weight of 803 pounds, 364 kilograms. Topic: Chieftain Limited 2017. The 2017 Indian Chieftain Limited adds more of a bagger style to the Chieftain. The front fender was opened up to show off 19 inches custom wheels, and a limited coloring scheme. This model also boasts the full ride command touch screen display that the Roadmaster also uses. It has the upper fairing with power windscreen and optional passenger seat. Topic. Roadmaster Classic 2017 The 2017 Indian Roadmaster Classic was introduced in February 2017. It has the traditional styling tan leather bags and trunk along with heated seats, heated grips, LED headlights, passenger floorboards, and rear crash bars. It does not have the hard front lowers found on the original Roadmaster. Topic. Springfield Dark Horse 2018 For 2018 Indian offers the Springfield in Dark Horse flavor. Open front fender with 19 inches cast front wheel. Topic. Scout Bobber 2018 The Scout Bobber is a factory modified version of the Scout that features style components taken from the Bobber community of motorcycles, hence the name. These modifications include chopped front and rear fenders, bar end mirrors, low seat, low handlebars, and a side mounted license plate holder. Topic: FTR1200 2019 The FTR1200 takes its inspiration from the flat track racing heritage of Indian. It is considered a street tracker, a street legal motorcycle with flat track bike styling. <laughs> <laughs> Toyota 
Topic: <laughs> Land speed records. Between 1962 and 1967, Bert Munro from New Zealand used a modified 1920s Indian scout to set a number of land speed records, as dramatized in the 2005 film The World's Fastest Indian. In 2014 Indian had a similar custom streamliner built, The Spirit of Munro, to promote their new 111 cubic inch engine and challenge speed records. Topic: Bicycles. Both Hendy and Headstrom had built bicycles before they met, and Hendy had marketed his under the Silver King and Silver Queen names. They continued to manufacture bicycles after their motorcycles became successful, and even made bicycles designed to resemble their motorcycles. <laughs> 